Pee Wee Herman was an eternally youthful figure, and Paul Rubens always knew he couldn't play the character forever. Here's what he thought of a potential successor. As has recently been announced by the actor's estate and several major news outlets, Paul Rubens has passed away at the age of 70. The legendary comedian and children's entertainer was best known for creating and acting as the youthful Pee Wee Herman a character he played for the near entirety of his career. Once upon a time, an actor's death would mean the end of that character appearing on screen again. However, with some recent technological evolutions, that's not necessarily the case. 2016's Rogue One A Star Wars Story arguably served as the first popular proof of concept of this ethically dubious practice, with the late Peter Cushing's likeness being recreated through CGI for a supporting role. Rubens actually addressed this possibility somewhat in a quasi-serious interview with OutKlick magazine in 2020, roughly three years after his cancer diagnosis. When asked who could take up the role in his stead, he stated, "'No one else will ever play Pee-wee. That would happen over my dead bu oh I see your point. Actually, it's 2020 now. The technology exists for me to be computer-generated and look completely real. However, if I didn't have the budget, I've always liked the work of Christopher Walken.'" The two projects Paul Rubens had seemingly been most fixated on were two feature films, both of which were Pee Wee Herman stories. The first was Pee Wee's Big Holiday, which was ultimately produced by Rubens and Judd Apatow and distributed on Netflix in 2016. It was a positively received family adventure in the same vein as 1985's Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You're gonna leave Fairville, and you're gonna take a holiday. The second was an apparently darker film called The Pee Wee Herman Story, which would have dealt with more adult scenarios, involving the titular character's rise to fame and fall from grace. Perhaps this would have taken inspiration from Rubin's real-life legal struggles, which ultimately saw the actor retreat from the public eye for several years. There had also long in development been a film based on his Playhouse series, titled Pee Wee's Playhouse The Movie, which Rubin's had pitched to Paramount Pictures sometime before 2007. The film would have seemingly been somewhat separate from the big adventures and the darker Pee Wee Herman story, instead focusing on the unique world and characters of the Pee Wee's Playhouse series, which originally aired from 1986 to 1990. It seems unlikely that any of these hypothetical films would move forward without Rubens involved. However, it wouldn't be the first time a Pee Wee performance was aided by CGI. In a 2020 interview with Conan O'Brien, Paul Rubens revealed that his appearance in the 2016 film Pee Wee's Big Holiday had been altered with the use of anti-aging CGI technology, similar to what was used on the Martin Scorsese crime drama The Irishman. It wasn't done in service of Rubin's ego, however, but to maintain the childlike essence of the Pee Wee Herman character. He told Conan, Pee Wee was sort of based on youth and youthfulness. Apparently, the process wasn't cheap, with Rubens claiming that it would have been significantly less expensive for him to get plastic surgery. What does that cost? What, what, what's involved? Oh, I mean, you couldn't afford it, really. Seriously. <laughs> he emphasized that he wasn't joking about the price either. Interestingly enough, and I, I found this out in hindsight, it costs so much money to do it that it would have been a fraction of the cost for me to have had plastic surgery. Real His youthful appearance wasn't all algorithms and polygons, though. Rubens also credited the talented lighting designers and makeup team, who used their craft in tandem with the technology to bring the character of Pee Wee Herman back as we all remember him. Pee Wee's Big Holiday is currently streaming on Netflix.